you know that. Mailman come? Did it come? Hey, hey, look, Mama. Oh, Willie put everything down on paper. Son, I think you, you ought to have a talk with your wife. Now go on out so y'all can be alone. Well, I, I can talk to her later. Mama, oh, look, son. please. Mama, will somebody listen to me today? Now don't allow no yelling in this house, Walter Lee, and you know that. And it, there ain't gonna be no investing in no liquor stores. You ain't even looked at it. And I don't aim to have to speak on that again. You ain't even looked at it? You don't aim to have to speak on that again? You, you ain't even looked at it and you decided? Well, you tell that to my boy tonight when you put him to sleep on the living room couch. Where are you going? Out. Where? Just out of this house somewhere. Well, I'll go with you. I don't want you to come. Well, Walter, I need to talk to you about something. Well, that's too bad. Walter Lee, sit down. I'm a grown man, Mom. Ain't nobody said you wasn't grown, but you're still in my house and in my presence, and as long as you are, you talk to your wife civil. Now sit down. Just let him go out and drink himself to death. He makes me sick to my stomach. Hey, well, you turn mine too, baby. That was my biggest mistake. What's the matter with you, Walter? What's the matter with me? Ain't nothing the matter with yes, me. Yes, there is too. Something eating you up like a crazy man. And it's more than me not giving you that money, too. But the last few years, I've been watching it happen to you. You get right nervous acting and right wild in our eyes. And sit there, now I'm talking to you. I don't need no nagging at me today, Mama. Seem like you're just, you're just getting to the place where you're always tied up in some knot over something. But if anybody say anything to you, you yell at them, you bust out the house, and then you're going out somewhere drinking. Now, won't you leave? People can't live with that. Now, Ruth is a, a nice, patient girl in her own way, but you're just getting to be too much, boy. Now, don't you make the mistake of, of, of driving that girl away from you. Why? What's she ever do for me? She loves you. Mama, I'm, I'm going out. I need to be by myself for a while. Son, I'm sorry about your liquor store, but it just wasn't the thing for us to do. I gotta go, Mama. It's dangerous, son. What's dangerous? When a man has to go outside his home to look for peace. Then why can't there never be no peace in this house? You done then? found it in some other house? No. <laughs> Ain't no woman. Why, why do women always think there's another woman somewhere when a man gets restless? Mama, do you know what this money means to me? What this money can do for us? Mama. <clears throat> I want so many things. I want so many things that drive me kind of crazy. Mama, yes, look at son. me. Yes, son. Yes. Look at me. And I'm looking at you. And you're a good looking boy. <laughs> you got a, a nice job. You got a, a fine son. You got a, a nice A job, wife. Mama, a job. I open and close car doors all day long. I drive a man around in his limousine, and I say, yes, sir, no, sir, shall I take the drive, sir? Mama, that ain't no kind of job. That ain't nothing at all. Mama, I just don't know if I can make you understand. Understand what, baby? Sometimes it's like I can see the future stretched out in front of me. Future, Mama, plain as day. Hanging over the edge of my days, just waiting for me. A big, looming blank space full of nothing, just waiting for me, but it don't have to be. Mama, sometimes when I'm downtown driving that man around and, and I pass them cool, quiet restaurants where them white boys are sitting back talking about things, just just sitting there turning deals worth millions of dollars. Mama, sometimes I see guys don't look much older than me. Son, how come you always got to talk, talk about money all the time? Because it's life, Mama. Oh, now money is life. Once upon a time, it was freedom. Now it's money. No, Mama, it was always money. We just didn't know about it. Oh, oh, oh no, boy. You something new. <laughs> In my day, we was worried about not being lynched and trying to get to the north if we could, and how to make a living and, and still have a pinch of dignity left, too. 
Now here come you and Benita, talking about things we ain't never even hardly thought about me and your daddy. Why you ain't proud of or ain't satisfied with nothing we done for you. I mean that, that we, you have a home. We kept you out of trouble till you was grown and you ain't got to ride to work on the back of nobody's streetcar. You're my children, but Lord, how different you done become. You just don't understand, Mama. <clears throat> you just don't understand. Son. Son, do you know your wife is expecting another baby? Now that's what she was trying to talk to you about today. And this ain't for me to be telling, but, but you ought to know. Now I think Ruth, I think Ruth is thinking about getting rid of that child. No. No, Ruth, Ruth, Ruth wouldn't do that. When the world gets ugly enough, a woman will do anything for her family. The pop is already living. No, you, you don't know Ruth, Mama, if you think she would do that. Yes, I would, Walter. <coughs> Gave her a $5 down payment. Well, son, I'm waiting to hear you say something. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear you talk like your father be the man he was. Now your wife says she's going to destroy your child. And I'm waiting to hear how you talk like him and say, we are people who give children life, not who destroys them. I'm waiting to see you stand up and look like him and say, we don't give up one baby to poverty and we ain't going to give up nary another one. Now I'm waiting. <laughs> if you're a child of mine, if you're a son of mine, you tell him. You tell him. You are a disgrace to your father's memory. Somebody get me my hat. <laughs> 